Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to another video of Dyson Sphere Program. That's all gone, we've used that up. Let me have a look in here. So we've got the Titanium Alloy right in there, and it's this one. Interstellar Logistics Station. To build this one, I've got the 20 particle containers, I need a planetary logistics station. Just a simple one of those. And I need 40 of these. So to make that one, I need the titanium ingots. Um, I just went and put down my last one. But never mind that. I need titanium ingots anyway. So we've got to be able to build up this new system that we've got. So i got 8 sulfuric acid is going to be needed, plus the titanium. When it's fairly straightforward, I can bring it down from here. And what I can do is I can put a splitter in there do that right now while we're still thinking about this uh, we will go into there and we will remove one two three right there and then I will go to logistics and I'll take that one and I will tab through it's this one that I want like that so then I can take the high-speed belt and that will run in there and I can have the high-speed belt that will come out there like that. And I can have the other high-speed belt that will come out over here like this. We want to just bring that one up in the air. And I want to come over there like that. Right. I don't need a high-speed belt coming out of that, I don't think. Possibly. I don't know. Anyway. I'm going to need to go back to the other planet now. We've got an extra line of storage, which is going to be rather useful. It means we can get a little bit more coming back over here. I'm going to make a large storage container right there just for a minute. Uh, I don't want to make five of them at all. I want to make just one. So I'll build that one. And I'm going to have to make sure that I have definitely got enough fuel to be able to go and use. At the moment, I have no fuel, and I've... Right, well, I'll go and just pick that one up in a minute. So we'll go and have a look in here, and I will right-click the split, hold shift to pick up multiple, hold control to pick up all items of the same type. Right, so I can do it like that, and it will do all items of the same type. Oh! Ah, if I click on the blank space, it moves everything over. That's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to dump everything in there and didn't want to keep anything at all. There is one thing that I want to do before we go running away. And this is something that we found out when we were over there and I nearly forgot about that. So let's get everything back a second. Um, go into here and I want to make one wireless power transmitter. Make one right there. And I want to take that one with me, and I want to put that down on the other planet. Now, I'm going to have to do two trips over to the planet, because we're going to need to bring back titanium and make the titanium alloy back this side. And then after we've done that, we're then going to want to um, go back again and put down a planetary logistics thing over on that planet so that we can start bringing the titanium back on a regular basis with drones rather than us having to do it manually. So that's the long-term plan we've got. Now I want to go and have a look in here. I've got one, two, three, four stacks of that, just like that. I'll have a look in here, and one, two, three of them. And then I've got one more stack that I can go and use in a minute. I don't need that extra stack, especially as I've got this other power. So, yeah, that's fine. We'll do it like that. Right, let's go. It's time to head off into space again. So we just start pressing spacebar and then we just kind of go off like this. Sail speed. I'm just pushing forward. My sail speed is now 140 meters per second. That is faster than it was previously. I'm definitely going faster now and just cruising along like this. I'm making a decent bit of speed. Right, where do we want to go? Capella 1 is over that way. And now I press shift. Burn up through and 
because we were so close to that gas giant, did you see the way I was pulled sideways when that happened? Being close to the gas giant then, when we were doing that. Right, I'm pressing and holding the forward key. And because I'm not turning the corner at all, we are still slowly increasing in our sail speed. But I want to keep it going now. Just like this. Just straight into Capella 1. We just we, we want to crash land now. Boom! There we go. <laughs> I love it! Oh, I absolutely love it. Mecha Core, we got plus 400 mega joules of maximum core energy. Which is fantastic. Right, let's just have a look at the map. Where are we? Where's our stuff? It is near the red pole up there. We need to get to the red pole up that way. So I want to have a look this way. Uh, the blue pole is that way. So I want to go this way. Right. Let's just put it into flight mode. I can go along like this. I'm burning a little bit of energy as I'm going along like this. Not massive amounts, but I am burning some. So I'm slowly consuming my current power supply. But I'm close enough to this lot that that won't be an issue in a minute. Right, there we go. Now I can land, and there was one thing I want to do. I've got this one power tower right here. I'm going to drop that one down there. And that means that I can now start sucking power out of the power grid and using it in here. So my recharge rate is quite slow. So I want to have a look at that. Now i got logistics carrier, uh, ray transmission, solar sail, live drive engine drone, energy circuit. 200 kilowatts mecha fuel power increased recovery speed right that's the one that we want to get so i want to queue that one up that one's going to be particularly useful to us and then we've got drone engines over here they will speed but like look at that there's 1200 of them this is some seriously expensive stuff anyway that one's filling up so while that one's filling let's go in here and quickly grab everything that we can out of there and another line here because we got ourselves an extra line and now all i've got to do is wait for it to charge up and then we can go back home again how much have we used over here by the way actually let's go back and sit on that one so i'm still charging i've got that one's full that one is nearly full. This one in here is filled back up again. It's full. That one's partly full. And then I've got an empty box down here that we're filling up. Oh, we've got... Oh. Wait a minute. We had an extra line of storage. Is that an extra line of storage on each of the storage machine thingies as well? Or is that just us? Right there, we didn't take that out. That's an extra line is in there. Okay, that's quite interesting. Solar sail life, 150 seconds of solar sail life. We want to do that as well. We want to get the solar sail launched. Anyway, uh, we have got all the titanium that we can carry. So let's get off of the planet. So Sail mode start. Right, where is... There's that one. Where's home? There's no place like home. Ah, there we go. Right. We are just one un uh, astronomical unit. Wait, right, right now, sail speed is only 100. I was more than that. Oh, uh, maybe I did press shift while I was on the planet, and that put me up to like 150. Uh, anyway, I'm going to speed right up like that. It could have been because I was slingshotting around the gas giant. I don't know if that's a thing. And I'm up to 1,000 on sail speed. But apparently, that is my maximum speed. I cannot go faster than 1,000 meters per second. And I've built right up to maximum speed on there. And I don't need to worry about anything else. It's fine by me. If I move around a little bit, it uses up energy to try and maintain the 
speed and everything. And all I got to do is just smack into the planet. Boom, like that. I love doing that. I really want a crater. I really want it to, or at least do like an epic landing, you know, with one fist down on the ground and one fist sort of pointed behind you as you come down on one knee and one foot. You, you know that kind of epic landing? I would like that. That's what I would like, I think. I would like an epic landing. A proper epic landing. And I feel that there's something I'm entitled to, really. I want... I want <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I feel there's something I'm entitled to. As a supporter of this game, I feel that I'm entitled to going and getting something like that. Uh, I, I just think it would look very, 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 very cool. Okay? Extremely very cool. There is no way, there's no two ways about it. That would be mega cool. Right? Proper, proper cool. Okay, let me go and have a look in here. And I'll dump down all of that lot. And then I will go into here. And I'll dump down all of that lot. And I've still got several hundred of these coming in here. So I've got a belt that has come out that way. I've got all of my stuff over here, which I will just pick up a minute like that. I love how quickly you can just grab everything. There, isn't that beautiful? Right, we've got all of that sorted out. Carrying a bit of titanium on me. So in order to make this next item, I've got the titanium there and I've got the acid over that way. I want to be able to make a couple of the interplanetary things. Oh, the planetary logistics systems right here. I need to make more than just one that I've got right there. I've got enough steel, enough titanium. It's these. No, I've got those. It's these. Graphene. I need graphene. And I'm going to need these as well. Right, so we will take 50, 100 of them, and we will go over and we get some graphene right there. One, two stacks of that. That'll keep me going, and then I can go and look in here. And buildings, and I can go into there. I can make four of these, so I want to make two of them because I also want to build this one. I don't yet have the titanium alloy, so that's what we're going to make now. Wait a minute. Titanium alloy. Uh, where are you? You're here somewhere. You better be. There. Smelting. Right, we need smelters to be able to do this. So I've got a belt coming that way. And I've got a belt that I will pull out of the acid just over here. Sort of cargo stacking. Increase the number of cargo that Sort of Mark III carries each time. Okay, I like that idea. We'll have a regular belt that is going to pop out of there. And that is going to come back this way. So where am I going to do this? I think I'm actually going to bring it out this side. I think it's going to go over here. Pop that one down there. And then I'm also going to go over to here, and I'm going to grab you, and I'm bring you all the way down over here. So that is going to be... Uh, I'm going to go up, like that. Right, I want that one to do that. And then I can bring it down, like that, and that one is going to go here. Go over to that side. It's going to sit right in there beside you like that. And then I'm going to take the new interplanetary logistics station that I've just gone and built. And I'm going to drop that one down there. Now, I would like to get some drones in this one. Probably a good idea if I go and make ten of them as well. I've got materials to make ten. That's good. So I can start putting those down once we've made another one of these. I don't need to worry about that too much at the moment. Because I do have some other alternatives that I can use. I want five of these right here. I need foundation support. I can drop that in there. Right. All I want to do with this one is I want to bring steel over from the other. And I've already got steel being provided this is supply right here i don't want demand on there so they're bringing from the other one they're going to bring that over i don't need to have drones in here just yet because the others will deliver it and keep delivering until this one is full i don't need anything else on here at the minute 
is to make this titanium alloy. I've got the other two items right there. I've got the titanium coming through. We've got sulfuric acid. And then I got this one that we've now got demanded is coming out of here. So I'm going to bring you out like that. And I'm going to tab. And that is going to be there. And it's going to come out like that. And then I'll bring you up. And I will put you over to there. Okay, so far, so good. I've got these three items in a row right here. And I'm actually going to bring that back. And I'm going to put it sort of just going along about that far, I think. And then you're going to come out and you're going to travel on a bit further. And then you're going to come out and going to travel on a bit further. And you're going to go over to there. We can go across three lines of belts, can't we? So if I go into production in here, I've got ten smelters already. So if I have the ten smelters and I put them right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just go with six. Let's not overdo this. Just just to start off with, at least. Uh, we Well, I'll leave the belts where they are. And I'm going to want to build another belt out on this side. So let's keep the belt going for a second. And I want to run that one out over to here. Like that. And then that's going to go right in there like that. Perfect. Okay, and then we can go over here. So you right in there, please select a recipe. That is going to be titanium alloy in there. So then I can copy that one and I can paste it out into those. Just like that. I can have... Right, sorter mark one. I'm going to need to make some more of these. Used up an awful lot of these already. Should put them down there like that. Bring that out and we can go and have a look in here. Sort of mark one buildings. Uh, you over there, I've got 286 of these that I can make 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I think that's about right. Uh, right, lots and lots. That's all we need to say is we just got lots and lots. And now I need to put these in like this. So that one will go in there, and then that one will go in there. So we've got. Uh, lines of three, like this, all the way into each of these uh, smelters. That should give us everything that we want. So put you up to there and you up to that way. Why aren't you bringing the steel out? I've got steel in the other ones. Why aren't you... Ooh, that's wrong. That one's got to go. Why aren't you bringing the steel out on that belt there? You should be bringing steel out to me. There we go. That one and that one into there. Like that. Uh, then I will... 20% logistics drone speed. Let's get rid of those bits just in there. I'm going to have a look in here. I want to drop in those five like that. And the titanium can stay exactly where it is. Uh, you should be... Let's demand. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Conveyor belt right there. I had it set, but it's not like it's not doing it right. Uh, I also want to go to that one and that one. I want to go there, and that's going to be a supply one like that. Uh, I want to remove that belt because I think what I did was I put that in, and I did set it to steel, but it didn't actually. Yes, it didn't have the filter set to steel on there. So now it's got the filter. I don't know why I did I did have it set for the, the, the correct filter, but for some reason it didn't actually want to um, like send it all the way through. Uh, Tesla Tower right down here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Keep those running. And we are going to need to go and like make towers and stuff for everything that we've got in this game. It's just I'm not going to worry about doing it just yet. Drop you down there, and it should be... 
Everything is now working. Everything is awesome. Look at this. Everything is most definitely awesome. It's all coming in now, and it's coming in, I mean, it's coming in pretty slow. We need four of each of those, and then we need eight of the sulfuric acid. So, yes, it's not the fastest procedure that we've got, but there we have the titanium coming out onto the belt. And I need... I've got six of these being built right here. And I need in total 40 of them to make the machine that I want, which is that one. I actually need to make two of those. So this one right here, I want to build another one like that. Because I'm going to need to make two of these down here. So I'm going to need more. I've got the graphene for that. So why can't I make these? Uh, oh, I don't have those. Right, we need some more electro turbos, ele electromagnetic turbos, turbines, whatever they are. Um, in here. Electromagnetic turbine. Right, one, two, three, four. I'll take a stack of four. Uh, four. Four stacks, rather. And we will bring those back over this way. So now let's take a look. I've got these uh, buildings. I've got one of these that I'm building, which I'm going to want for the interplanetary logistics system right there. I've already got one for this planet, so I'm building another one for the other planet, and then I'm going to want it here. We need 20 more of these. I should be able to do that now. So we're going to have a look in here. There's 145 of them. Clear and reset. Can I... Pick them out of here. I can clear and reset, and that just picks them up. What I can't do is I can't just pick them out of here like I can with a normal inventory. Local station four, so we can we can name them all. So I, if I do that, it does it it picks them up but it doesn't do anything else so then i can go back in here and i can just have it as more storage so i'll just let them keep running into there and that should be enough to keep everything going so then we go and have a look in this side and it's that one i can make one at the moment put that one down i need to wait until i've got that one and then i'll be able to get another one going and then we can set one up here, and we need to set one up on the other planet as well. We have things running in between. So we're going to need logistics vessel carrying capacity 200. That is all. This also need, it can dynamically balance the supply and demand of cargo between planets and consumes space warper. Can activate warp. Consume space warper. What on earth is space warper? Uh... We need to actually build this one so that we can find out what that is all about. I'm going to say we're probably going to want 20 of these. And I... Well, that's because I don't have enough of that. That's, that's my guess. Is we're going to want, like, 20 of them. Um, something along those lines. What else do we need? I've, I've got these. It Oh, no. It's, it's just those. I just need to make some more of these. And then I got the thrusters there. I've got enough to make them. Oh, reinforced thrusters. I need even more titanium. Oh, I see. It's because I need still more titanium alloy. Right. We're, we're kind of waiting on the titanium alloy to go and do this. Uh, you right there. I want a second one of those. I'm making a big assumption on that bit that we do need that many of them. Uh, we need one on each planet. It does kind of make a lot of sense. Plus five logistics drone carrying capacity. They can carry more cargo each time. Uh, so now if we have a look in here and we go to components and we go to that logistics drone that can now carry 30 at a time. This one logistics vessel that's not a drone specifically so that is still set on 200. Hydrogen fuel rod right there. That's more titanium. Well that's going to be another thing that we do once we get over to the other planet. So it's another thing that we're going to be working on once we get over there. I've got the titanium coming through this way. I'm a little bit concerned that we're going to use up too much titanium in here. And that shouldn't be a concern, actually. We've got enough to be able to make the bits that we've got right now. You're empty. And you're halfway done as well. All right. All right. I've got everything that I need to do. 
I've got everything that I need. Did I build 10 drones or not? Let me look. I didn't... Oh, I did, I did, I did. I, I, I built... I builded 10 drones. So if I put those in there, they will rush off and go and get some more steel. Which would be quite handy. That's going to speed up the delivery of the steel back over to this way. It's not really the steel that we need to be worried about. It's that that we want to get coming through just a little bit faster. Although it's going through fast enough... I don't need to concern myself with it. It is actually running through fast enough all the way through on here that we have no issues with it. Oh, that's good. And I'm building that next. Okay, well, I'm going to ignore that for a minute and I'm going to go here. <laughs> there we go. We've got this one. we got the interplanetary logistics system. I want the titanium, so I'm going to put this one down. It's kind of like away from everything else, though, if I put it down there. Maybe I should put it up over here and put it in the middle. But then it's a little bit more difficult for me to, like, get stuff from it. I mean, I've, I've got titanium that's coming off of this. Uh... No, I'm, I'm going to put this one down here. Maybe we will get another one later, but I, I'm, for a minute right now, I'm just going to dump that one right there like that. There we have it. You have established an interstellar logistics station and opened the first node of logistics transportation among the planets. With it, no need to transport cargo between planets manually anymore. Just set to remote supply in the site on the raw material supply planet. The logistics vessel will bring the cargo to the other planets with corresponding remote demand sites accordingly. Setting local supply and demand can also inherit the functions of ordinary logistics station at the same time. Uh, I don't fully understand exactly what he said there. Let's go and have a look. So we've got five slots on this one. We've got local drones which will supply out. So this will, when it brings things into this one, it will automatically... Um, brings like we will bring in from the interstellar station and then we can use that demand to bring things back in closer if that's what we want to do or we can just have a belt that will run out and join into this belt down here to supply the titanium at the moment so for now what we're going to do is we're going to go there and we're going to go to titanium ingots right here we've got 10,000 right there I want uh, remote storage remote demand so I'm demanding remotely and I'm supplying locally. Local storage, local demand, local supply. I'm going to go with that one. Remote storage. So I'm going to demand that from remote stations like that. And we are storing a huge amount of capacity in here. Transport range of vessels is unlimited, 108. So you can go halfway around the planet on this. Distance to enable warp, 12 AU, minimum load of drones, 10%, minimum load of vessels, 100. So they wait until they're fully laden before they go dashing off anywhere. I guess that's a good thing. I've already run out of titanium now. So I'm going to need to be able to make some of these. And I'm going to say I want to make 10 of these. At the moment I can make five. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.